All right, dude. Everyone is talking about it. Tiger King. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> no. Come not, on. Not going to do it. Not going to eat. No. Nope. Seven hours of nope. your life. Seven hours of your life. I have very little value for my time, but I value it more than watching that. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. There is so many what the heck moments in that entire thing. Uh, the, the first episode you get through, you're like, oh, it's an interesting documentary. And then mm-hmm. after that, you're, I don't know. It's. To understand the memes, I, you are going to be that guy left out if you do not. I was watch that way with that The show. Walking Dead for nine seasons. They never were seen season an episode. nine when I started. I've never seen an episode. Yeah, it, it, eh, that's a whole conversation for a different day. So the, the, there's one good. I'll thing. watch a couple episodes of The Walking Dead if you watch Tiger King. Well, that's not fair because there's a couple good ones in The Walking Dead, and then they oh, all suck. <laughs> oh, okay. There's one valuable thing I picked up from the the, the memes of this Tiger King thing, though. What's that? For two grand, I can get a tiger. So I know where my uh, government tax refund is going now. Oh yeah, absolute, a tiger. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, not, not really. All right, man. We need to talk about some actual truck and four by four stuff. Well, tigers are off road. Well, I guess they are. <laughs> you could ride one, dude. I couldn't. I'd probably crush it. It's time to hit the trail, lock in those hubs, and throw it into low range. Because you are listening to Wheel It with Keith and Johnny Orange, broadcasting from the Thin Line Off Road Studio. They're here to talk about 4x4s, trucks, and everything to do with enjoying the great outdoors. Buckle up. Here's your hosts, Keith and Johnny Orange. So you, you, what prompted watching this was you just passed a tiger sanctuary and you're in Florida or something? I mean, didn't you guys post a picture with a tiger when you're down there? Or did she do that last time? No, that'd something? be the fiance. Yeah. Um, so my mom has a place in Florida. Wait a minute. What? Didn't that lady cut her husband up and feed her to a tiger? Your fiance's pet the tiger. Allegedly. I'm just saying. She <laughs> posted pictures with the tiger. So. Watch out. <laughs> uh, my mom has a place in Florida, and it is just a couple miles from one of those big cat nice. rescue places. Um, Did not know that when we visited. But <laughs> these places are apparently all over the place, and the whole Tiger King thing. And, the, and, hmm. and actually, I'm amazed that the one that's next to my mom's house yeah. is not there. Now, of course, everybody's probably wondering, what the heck was I doing traveling to Florida? Um, yeah, I mean, why would anyone want to go there? No, I love Florida. <laughs> so, I mean, the warm weather's nice. Yeah, the social distancing and things like that. They got great diving, too. They do. Yes. <laughs> uh, my mom was kind of stranded down there when this whole thing started. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, there's a couple things. She was, she was alone and kind of freaking out about that. And the second thing was that she had several major things go wrong with her house that needed to be repaired Ooh. pretty, you know, rapidly. Yeah. Uh, and she could go and hire a handyman or something like that. But mm-hmm. at the same point, my fiance, who uh, is, you know, seasonal depression, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, she was like, I need, I'm going to be more comfortable down there. So yeah. I said, all right. So we packed everybody in the car. I drove her and the kids down to Florida. Uh, on the, we, in the tractor? What's Chevy, that? Took a Chevy tractor, did you? Took, no, we didn't, the car? we didn't take the Chevy tractor. <laughs> we took Project Excursion. Oh, okay. um, and you know, it, I did find out you can drive from here to Central Florida in that thing on two tanks of fuel. Uh, nice. One fuel stop in the middle. Use rubber nice. gloves. We we packed uh, lunches with us. We mm-hmm. didn't interact with anybody. Couple hoses, just running out the window when you got to take a leak. Yep, they're pretty yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of hand Empty sanitizer. Gatorade bottles. <laughs> it was good. We were fine. Got down there. I stayed there a few days. Fixed some stuff on our house. I actually left the family down there and then headed back myself. That was rude. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, for them to stay down there and enjoy the weather. Yeah. Um, project Excursion on the way down, I was freaking out. I thought I dropped a, um, you know, an injector or something. Ooh. It was hiccuping and farting and backfiring, and it was Some just... Bad fuel or something? I think so. Um, uh, you know, producer Andrew's always telling me not to buy fuel from a certain place, and I am pretty sure that I actually <laughs> got uh, skunked on a tank of fuel because mm. the whole way down there, this thing, I thought it was going to die. Diesel 911. I, I put bottle. some of that in it, <laughs> and it kind of got better, mm-hmm. but it took about... 
three tanks of fuel. By the time I got the oh, third wow. tank of fuel, boom, she was running good again. Nice, nice. Speaking of project excursion, mm-hmm. um, I may have finally came up with an idea for what I'm going to do. Now, I mm-hmm. you saw, I think, on Facebook that I was thinking about cutting some body parts out. Yeah, so I mean, not body parts. You could take the whole quarter of the thing. <laughs> well, that was my plan. Yeah. I know a guy down in Central Florida that mm-hmm. has a Super Duty junkyard. It's kind of a private thing on his nice. on his own property, but he's got, at any given time, maybe 30 rigs. Mm-hmm. And I called him up while I was down there, and I said, hey, do you got any excursions? And he says, I've got two right now. Mm-hmm. I said, all right. I said, I need a quarter panel. And he says, no problem. Gave me a price, just smoking price. Yeah. I said, all right, I'm going to plan on stopping there on my way home. Okay, cool. Pull in. We go walking out there. The one excursion is completely rotted out. There's just, you're not going to save anything from it. Yeah. He said it came from up in, I think he's in New York or something. Um, the other excursion, heavy front end rack, mm-hmm. frames bent real bad. Yeah. Body is mint the body shell mm-hmm. not a rust spot not it's got one little dent in the front from the wreck yeah and i'm looking at this thing and he gave me a great great price on it and i'm seriously thinking about body swapping the excursion now because it would take care of the rockers the quarters mm-hmm. floors nice i mean anything underneath this thing There's- that's kind of where i'm at with uh, pegasus at one point i was just going to patch the floors and what was there and unfortunately it's going to be easier to body swap it than it would be to repair what's there at this point. Well, It's pretty bad in a lot of spots. And, and as you've seen this week, and I've posted on Wheelin mm-hmm. on our uh, our actual page, Project FJ, or the Brat Pack FJ60. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I of, love what you've done with the interior. I saw that on my way in. It's there's beautiful. no interior. <laughs> yeah, there's so much air and movement in there. I mean, there's no seats. There's no carpet, nothing. I, I took... <laughs> And I stripped her all out. Uh, the family is really attached to this one. If it mm-hmm. was up to me, I probably would have taken and, uh, you know, retired it and yeah. built something else by now. But everybody wants me to keep this one around. <laughs> and so I got looking at it, and I says, you know, if I take and fix up the body on this, I do need to pull the body off the frame to do some frame patching on yeah. it. It's going to tell me whether or not I want to mess with a body swap on Project Excursion. Yeah. It's kind of a... You know, test run basically. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm at. That's kind of our four by four talk or whatever right now. That yeah. that's or not four by four talk. That's our whatever they call it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's there, our news. There's so our much new stuff news. going on. I mean, I, I don't even recognize this this year. I mean, we're we're on opposite sides where we normally are. Actually, okay. we're normal. To them, we're opposite. Do do we need to talk about this? What's going on here? You know, do we want to or do we want to leave them hanging at least till next commercial break? All right, we can do that. <laughs> right, is it that time already? I have no idea. I'll close. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Johnny Orange is sitting there looking at producer Andrew, but uh, yeah. <laughs> any case, any case. Uh, so, yeah, I'm back from Florida. Welcome. Welcome. The, uh, you know, excursion's running great. Nice. I've ripped into FJ60. Having this time off has been a blessing a little bit. And in certain ways, what? Yeah. You're, you're like, I don't know. What? <sighs> I haven't touched anything. <laughs> I've, I've driven the Jeep twice. Wow, I really had to bite my tongue on that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we did a whole episode about that, and I haven't touched anything. <laughs> All right. The, the intention's there. I mean, it's ready to go. It's just, I haven't, you know, I've been working on some other stuff. I haven't been going anywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, there's one one place you, you I haven't have touched local. the XJ. I mean, I opened the door and closed it once you haven't to touched show somebody. Pegasus? I drove it twice. You haven't touched yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't nothing. resist. I got nothing. That's after show talk. What's oh. wrong with you? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, all right. If you want to listen to us in the after show, Patreon. We are not going to be discussing that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk all about Johnny Orange and his, uh, uh, no. <laughs> you know, his activities. So. No, I, I really do need to get going on that. It's just, you know, working on other stuff. Yeah, I've had the intention i said this once before trying to pick up some old hobbies and i have been i've been doing a lot more cooking yeah you know i've now got every cast iron pan that i own restored nice uh except one it was a griddle and i i stripped some of the rest off the bottom just see if there are any markings on it the pitting is so bad it's got to be at least halfway through the metal so it's probably gonna end up in the scrap bin. Mm, yeah, it's not even usable i mean it's bad 
Well, so, I, I mean, at least you're finding something to do. That that's oh, the, yeah. that's the important part. Yeah. It uh I mean, one of the, a couple of these cleaned up real nice. A couple of these real old, you know, I, I think I talked a couple episodes ago about restoring my grandma's old one. Sure, yeah. And I I finally I did cook some biscuits and cornbread up in that. Nice. They were phenomenal. Good deal. You brought some with yep. you tonight? No, they're gone. <laughs> mm, screw you. Well, you were in Florida. Screw you with the nice yeah, Okay, water. whatever. Yeah, my mom was cooking, which, by the yeah, way. drinking rum and Cokes on a rum, cabana rum and Cokes, in Florida. Yeah, Tiki Hut. Uh, it's like I'm sorry I didn't save you some biscuits. Yeah, 85 <laughs> degrees outside, and she's cooking me these five-course meals that are, you know, 8,000 calories and heavy every single time. And, and you're complaining why? I'm not complaining, <laughs> but I mean, geez, I was down there, and it's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, I get it. <laughs> but we'll tell you what. Uh, this is, you know, switching gears here. This is episode 52. Yeah. Yeah. 52. And you said on the last episode, I think you did, or maybe on the Patreon after oh, show yeah. on the end of the trail that, <laughs> Jersey, uh, I forgot to post a link. We should do a something. little year in review. I'm for it. I don't have any notes in front of me. I was going to print up something for episode lists and everything we did. And I totally forgot. <laughs> I, th- I think I got enough in the old noggin that we can we Sounds can good. work off of this. But let's take a quick break and let's talk about this year. Sounds good. I need some water anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> ah, spring. It means so many things. Birds, flowers, warmer temperatures, and oh, let's not forget, bugs! <laughs> Don't let pesky bugs take over your home. Call ABC Home and Commercial Services. They have the solution for your spiders, wasps, box elder bugs, Asian lady beetles, cluster flies, and more. ABC Home and Commercial Services, the best in pests. Call 810-794-5678. So I got one one sort of a quick shout out. Uh, I, I mentioned my buddy Rob a while back. He was helping us do the canopy on the boat. We finished that up uh, last week sometime. Just had a little bit left, finished it up. It looks phenomenal. I don't know if you're still watching or listening to the show, but thanks for all the help. Much appreciated. Shout out to Rob, whoever the heck you are. (laughs) (laughs) He's a diver and an off-road guy. Oh, okay. So he's a guy who builds uh, tube buggy chassis. I gotcha. The guy is an artist with a grinder and a welder. I mean, it's unreal how good. Okay, cool. cool. It's incredible. We'll have to get him on here at some point. Yeah, yeah. And I like that idea. Yeah, between the captain and I, we got a lot of work left to do between the two of us. And uh, hopefully there will still be some season left. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of getting people on the show, in the last year, mm-hmm. how many guests have we had? Three? Four? I know I know. I we've had Mr. Chad from... Uh, th- uh, do, we, do we count the midgets? All the kids, yeah, yeah, you're, you're off yeah. We've had my kids on for yeah. for blurbs. Uh, we've had Mr. Chad from uh, Quick Draw Brand on yep. maybe three times. Yeah, that's uh, we twice, spoke to my mom came mm-hmm. on and talked about the history of sleds and things yep. like that. Um, who else? Have we had anybody else in the last year? I don't remember. Did we talk to Blair? Or were we still setting something up with him? To who? Or Dan? No, no, we didn't. Um, hmm. You know, I thought we had one more. So Maybe 52 not. episodes. Well, 51. One, what's that? This is 52, 51. Well, okay, so 51 <laughs> prior episodes. This is episode 52. So really, we should have done the year in review on the next episode. Huh? We'd have a full year in review. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. fair enough. But So we, we done screwed up. <laughs> so for those of you who are... Possibly, for those of you who are just listening to us, there might be an audio difference right now. A little bit. But for those of you who are watching us on YouTube, there's, there's a, a big difference. There's a big a difference. And uh, this this is only a sneak peek here. This is not much of anything that you're looking at. No. We are currently in what I would like to call Thin We're Lenoff's. hiding in a basement because we're not supposed to be in groups. Well, there's that too, <laughs> yeah. Um, thin Line Off-Road Studio... 1.5? Yeah, that works. Point, I mean, that works. Here's the deal. This is not going to be our permanent studio forever. No. We call this 1.0 because the, the other location was just temporary. A kitchen table, this. yeah. So, so we, This is 1.0. This is 1.0. Yeah. This is going to be our studio probably for the yeah. next year. We're going to be working on uh, the barn where we're going to have uh, you know, final thing, install. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to be able to do videos of working on yeah. our rigs and things like that, but Right. And you'll see some changes with this too. This is just kind of a threw it together real quick, <laughs> make it work as best you're, we can. You're, you're looking here. at 
Um, I wish I could give our viewers a 360 degree view. It actually looks yeah. much cooler on the other side, but uh, for lighting needs and for a backdrop, we're just looking at one wall of a little bit <laughs> of a hack and tap setup tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're gonna figure this out as we go along. Oh yeah, um, it, it works. I I did not. I was going to. I had the intention of. Maybe you've looked. Maybe producer Andrew can you know sign some numbers to us. But I was wondering, I think I know off the top of my head, but I was wondering what was our most popular episode over the last 51 mm. episodes. I'd probably, have to say, was it the Land Cruiser episode? I, I don't it think was, it was. I'm not sure. I, 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 unless he can look it up really quickly. That quick or the link. Mahinder one, maybe. I'm just I, thinking based on the YouTube video. I thought it was the International Harvester episode. Oh, that could be. Well, at least by my thinking of that, we had the most social media traffic from the International Harvester okay. episode. We had we had a ton of people commenting it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. We had people on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, um, Matt down at Bracket Auto. We had him, mm -hmm. uh, you know, personally shout out things about it. Yeah. So cool. I don't know. Uh, I don't is see is a producer of... Andrew looking right now. Is that what he's doing? Okay, so he's looking right now. Yeah. Um, out of curiosity. So I don't have the logins or anything to see any of the specifics. All I can see is the show stuff. Personally, so. I think that was one of the episodes that you were most prepared for, too. Hey, maybe. <laughs> I mean, your notes on it were... Uh, <laughs> she she yeah, both broke. staring at the cat. Yeah. So, producer Andrew actually... actually we, have, we do have a doorway on the studio, mm -hmm. but there's no doorknob yet. And producer Andrew taped the door shut, and somehow the cat that he was trying to keep from coming into the studio is here. So <laughs> She just ran in there. That, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, she wants nothing to do with us, but she's walked in. Um, yeah. But anyways, back to the, back to the episodes. Um, in all of the episodes... Um, was there one that you enjoyed doing the most? Oh, the XJ one. The XJ. Now, uh, that would have been episode, episode 10. 10. That, would, that, that was, was long way back ago. there. Way back there. There's that, and there were a couple of the freestyle ones we did that were a lot of fun. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, give you a lot of specifics right now, but... <laughs> um, Going back... Um, oh, you know oh, what? Wow. I didn't even think about yeah. that one. Um, Mr. Yeah, Andrew funny. says episode 48, the Ford F-Series episode. Does it have numbers on it at all? Now, what, see that. what's interesting there is episode 48, or the, the Ford F-Series thing. Mm -hmm. when, is uh, that, that's downloads? Oh, nice. The 2020 downloads? <coughs> oh. Oh, 100, well, 104 downloads. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> thank I, you to each and every one of you, though. <laughs> I, thank you. I really don't play, I don't really pay attention to the numbers much anymore. Yeah. Um, but through the Museum of Off-Road Adventure, mm -hmm. one of our most popular posts that we ever did, I think, was when we did a history of the Ford F-Series as well. I believe it. So, you know. I for, remember that. That one was of, insane with the reach on that post. Oh, it was like oh, 58,000. Yeah. And I still get notifications every once in a while that somebody has reshared it. Nice. So that, that was awesome. interesting. That's awesome. That one will live for a while. Especially in about a year from when that post did out, that coming up in everyone's memories and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's true. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, I've listened. I've gone back. Let me ask you this. I'm going to interview you for a minute here. Okay. What episode... Uh, Producer Andrews, once again, is trying to draw my... He's got some information here. That was episode the second 10. one? Yep. That is the... Top of all time. Oh, <laughs> the top of all time is episode 10, the Jeep XJ Cherokee, which means it. for the last 41 episodes, we've not been doing very good. <laughs> I don't know. Well, thanks to all my Jeep family out there for that one. Yeah, uh, there you go. He pro <laughs> well, problem is Johnny Orange has a much higher social media following <laughs> than Keith does here, and he probably shared it everywhere, and that's what I happened. actually, I only shared it a little bit. Oh, okay. So that's our yeah. all-time uh, download episode. I'm okay with that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, what I'm, what I was going to ask you here mm -hmm. though is, of all the episodes we've done, or maybe I already asked you this. You said the Jeep XJ one, but mm -hmm. like, what episode do you think? Uh, not that you necessarily had the most fun with, but what episode do you think was the episode where? We became a real like show, like a real podcast. Where episode one doesn't count. 
<laughs> well, okay. I mean, episode one does. Um, hmm. The one, the one where we started to sound semi-professional. I don't want to say that we even sound professional now, but <laughs> you started know. to. I don't started. think we're ever going to get there. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> no, I mean some of the some of the history ones. Okay. You know, not not the first couple because they're still fumbling our way through it. You know, I thought the Ford one went really well. Oh, that's, uh, way, that's episode 48. Yeah, the Cummins one was good. The, okay. The uh, Toyota, the Land Cruiser one. Yeah. I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Yeah, those are obviously the bigger ones. The Mahindra. I, I probably learned more about between the Mahindra and the Toyota one. Okay. I think I learned the most of those, too, just as far as the evolution of those vehicles. So much I didn't know going into them. Now, it's funny you'd mention those, and those are later episodes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, for me... Honestly, half the reason is I can't remember half the other one. Well, I, I went back and I, I've listened to a couple of our early episodes, mm-hmm. and one of the ones where I think our audio quality, and that that's a big shoot, shout out to uh, producer Andrew there. Absolutely. Thanks again, sir. Um, our audio quality went from being kind of scratchy in the background and whatnot mm-hmm. was when we did the SUV Kings episode, which I think was yep. episode eight, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that. Um, and that was the first one in my mind where we all of a sudden started to sound like a real show. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily that the content was there, mm-hmm. but our audio quality and our sound yeah. was to the point where it was like, okay. And then I, I just told you and producer Andrew, it would have been, so this is episode 52, 52 episode 50. Mm-hmm. I don't know what we did different. I even messaged him through our, our group. I, I remember this, seeing that. I yeah. have no idea what happened. For whatever reason, to my ears, episode 50 is like crystal clear. Hmm. You and I seem to be on point. Not that there's a lot well, of ums or I, anything I've like that. I've got a possible idea. What's that? So episode 50 is probably the first solid week or two you've been off of work, away from power tools. Not kind of hammers going off all day and then listening to an episode, so your ears may have regained some uh, of the hearing. You're thinking that my hearing's getting better. Potentially. Not necessarily I, getting better, but recovering, because you're not around all the tools and everything all day. You know, it's funny you mention that, because it took me... I've been laid off now because of the, the COVID-19 and all that. I think I've been laid off since March 23rd. Okay. And... I noticed about a week later, I mm-hmm. got to the point where I'm sleeping through the night yeah. without being woken up from aches and pains from my hip, back, and knees. Yeah. Be relaxing. My body <laughs> is actually recovering yeah. because I work a very physical job every yeah. single day. Boom, boom, boom. And I still have aches and pains, but even yeah, just sitting here lesser. right now, my yeah. back has a little pain to it, but not Manageable. nowhere near what... Yeah. And you're also working on down here earlier, too. I have not so. taken um, any sort of even an aspirin, pain meds, yeah. anything like that in over two weeks. Nice. I, I haven't, well, I, I kind of twisted my knee again, so I had since then, but I've been off of anything for a while. I'm still having the same problems with my right yeah. knee where if I bend down, I can't, when I try to get up, it, yeah. it locks up there, on me. There but. was somebody, I don't remember who, again, thing I saw on Facebook, talking about the idea of taking a month or, you know, two weeks two different times in the year and just shutting everything down like this yeah. because it is people are able to relax a little bit you know they're spending more time with family spending more time at home getting stuff done and you look at the recovery of nature in so many places it's i gotta say i completely agree with them (laughs) well that's something they've done in europe and latin america countries for many years uh i i I wouldn't disagree with you. I think yeah. it's probably not a bad idea, but obviously it has to be planned. Oh, obviously. This it has is, to be... This is due to very unfortunate circumstances, sure. obviously. You know, there's any big thing, there's going to be something positive from it. Yeah. Not that it's good for everybody, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it sucks. Mm-hmm. There's no way about it. But, you know, there's the silver lining to it is that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> well, getting getting back on track, speaking, yeah, yeah. Spe- speaking of our sil- silver linings and things like that, um, kind of reminiscing here, mm-hmm. the Wheel and Podcast started with one mission in mind mm-hmm. and completely developed into something new. Yeah. 
the very first thing, as you know, we developed this podcast originally as a side project through the Museum oh, of yeah. Off-Road Adventure as a way to get the word out mm-hmm. and to talk about off-roading and things like that. And uh, the board, as well as ourselves, when we all discussed it, we said, you know, this would be a good idea if we kept it separate. We still we could still talk about oh, the yeah. museum, which we do all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Absolutely. But um, this developed a life of its own, which we yeah. never had the intention of doing. No. No, definitely not in the beginning. And, and that's really cool. And then, of course, through people that co- contacted you, contacted me, mm-hmm. contacted Andrew, that told us uh, we needed to be on YouTube. Yeah. We're on there. Our video quality is is just a couple of guys talking to each yeah. other. Eventually, maybe we'll do some you know, well, builds. We're, we're going to be things. playing with this beautiful square right here, too. That's television. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's not on. I just see a square. <laughs> uh, you know what? There you go. There's a little side note. We had a much bigger... This is a green screen. I have my hand over it, which you're going to see. Oh, black. You know, uh, this is a green screen. We had a uh, I know much, I'm pissing you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a much bigger one planned, and it was not working out. This was Andrew's uh, side... Or plan B. Plan B. <laughs> So we might have a bigger one. We're playing around with different ideas. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we'll go back to what we're talking about our year in review here in a second. Mm-hmm. But our new studio area, this is the basement of the Thin Line. Off- this is this is actually previously where Thin Line Off-Road stored a lot of parts and things like that. <laughs> and it's been uh, kind of converted to a different space now. Yeah. And... Uh, like I said, if I had a 360 view, you could see we've got some cabinets, some countertops, things like that. Pile of laundry. Pile of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a laundry room in a corner. Oh, yeah. Oh. But uh, this is... A, this It's is a, come a long way. Yeah, it's come a long way. Yeah. And... No, the, the cracked multicolor floor is completely hidden. The cracked multicolor painted walls with different height bricks are now true. hidden nicely. <laughs> We are trying to build a convertible space here, something that we can change around as yeah. we need it. We can multifunction, multi-use. So we'll see. We'll oh, see yeah. if it works. If it, yeah. if, it, if it does, great. If not, we'll go back to the old way, sitting at the kitchen table. Yep. But um, so back to our, our year in review. Um, you know, we've covered a couple of different things here. Is there an episode that you got the most feedback on? Like people came and talked to you and said, hey, this is the episode that I loved, or this is the episode that hmm. I learned the most, or this is the episode I hated, or, or whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to remember what the one was. I know I've, I've talked about my friend Michael Vinoy a couple times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm getting feedback from him on a few of the episodes. Okay. Um, I can't remember the exact ones off the top of my head. I know the one, I think it was about the CJs we were talking. Oh, yeah, that CJ episode. Yeah. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was his comment was. Was that episode seven? That was a way back, I think. Seven was the CJ seven. Okay, okay. So I thought we had done another one. Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, the uh, the Willie's episode. Okay. That's probably the one I got more from in uh, comments from people than any other one. Oh, okay. I can see that. I can so, see that. It's uh, and then the the one I was talking about um, my mom and the the commando. Oh yeah, yeah. That one we we all got feedback on that one because she thought I was there talking to her when yeah. she was listening to it. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that. Other than that, not. I mean, those are those are probably the only ones so okay. far. Um, <laughs> for me, I'd say the international episode. I got a lot of feedback on. Mm-hmm. I did have I did a few people mention the yeah. XG episode and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I these are it, I don't remember Uh-oh. the episode number for the international, but if you're interested in the XG episode, that's number oh. 10. And uh, <laughs> we're going to lose a light here. Yeah, no. I think it's time for us to take a little break and then <laughs> Yeah, good uh, call. Get rid of the cat and go from there. <laughs> yep. All right. Hey, you good. said we're having Chinese for dinner, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is your septic system ready for the spring rains and melting snow? Let the experts at ABC Home and Commercial Services inspect your tank and properly pump it. A little preventative maintenance goes a long way in avoiding a system failure. Call ABC Home and Commercial Services today at 810-794-5678 and they'll be on their way. A septic pump is as easy as ABC. ABC Home and Commercial Services, 810-794-5678. That's 810-794-5678. Let me ask you another question, John. Okay. Has 
the Wheel and Podcast for you opened up any doors or like led you down another road in your personal professional career that you wouldn't have seen doing before? I mean, not really yet. You know, I've done some of this kind of stuff before in terms of just video and audio. Um, I mean, not not much more than that really yet. <laughs> okay. So it has for me mm-hmm. in, in in interesting ways. I already occasionally write for one publication mm-hmm. about usually automotive history. Mm-hmm. Playboy, got it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I've had, uh, last week, I had another publication reach out to me, hmm. automotive publication, said, nice. hey, would you be interested in writing on a you know regular basis for our magazine? Oh, wow. cool. and, and they offered me you know a job and some money and this and that. Cool. And this is, so I've accepted that. Uh, Very We're cool. still talking about the details of what we're going to yeah. write, but um, that's opened up for me. That's awesome. Um, through Wheelan and through the museum. It was nice. kind of a... a double header? Yeah, double nice. header a little bit. I'd also say that, you know, this has helped. Not that I've, I've been a camera shy type of person. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, when we tried some of our early YouTube videos, they were terrible. The interview? Yeah, the interview. I, I man, I had to drink a lot of moonshine yes, to make that thing you did. happen. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm still not super comfortable on that. Yeah. But even there with audio, you get there. I'm I'm getting there with the audio. Yeah. Not that I'm a shy person. You know that I'm oh, kind no, of an no. extrovert. But it's just when you realize somebody's watching or listening or listen. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It, it can be definitely a little intimidating. <laughs> well, you know, that was a thing too. I I never had this idea in my life that okay, I was going to be somebody that someone was going to listen to or mm-hmm. watch or anything like that. Now you did. You've been on TV. You've mm-hmm. been in in shows and things like that. But yeah. for me, I started this with you as a you know grad rat. Well, yeah, but it was it was I don't <laughs> a little say, more than that. I don't want to no. say it was an advertisement, but it was. We had an ulterior motive of oh, yeah. trying to bring it's a promotional thing. That a promotional was the original thing. idea, and we've had so much fun with it. I oh, thought yeah. this might last twenty or thirty episodes tops, and here we are, a year yeah. later. I'm okay with that. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I me love too. It. Me too. Something to do every week. It's, I mean, it's fun. I have a great time doing I, it. I have noticed that for you yeah. that it seems to be uh, something that is very regular and oh, yeah. kind of scheduled it's in nice. your life. It's nice. Yeah, and, yeah. and this is this has been good for you. Oh yeah. Good, good. Yeah, just something to look forward to get out for a bit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's been good for me too. Yeah. I um I really haven't any battles with it or anything mm-hmm. like that. To me, I mean, you know, there's been times where we've had creative differences or we've looked at yeah, different it's, things, but the nature of two people doing anything though. Yeah, exactly. Well, and three that, really. I mean we've got no, Andrew yeah, who's behind yeah. the scenes here. And That's what makes it work, though. Everybody's got a difference of opinion. We can discuss it, find out what works best, and roll it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I still think that we're very much... It's funny because when you mentioned to me last week and you said, this is going to be a year, and I was like, mm-hmm. a year? No, we haven't been doing this for a year. <laughs> but, you know, we're still in our infancy. Oh, you know, yeah. Five years from now, you know, once we have our 10,000 hours in, mm-hmm. that's what they say. It takes 10,000 hours to be a master of something. 10,000 hours, about 45 minutes an episode. So that's like, what, 12,000, 11,000 episodes? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the after show. Neither of us were all. good with math, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, but I, 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 I've been I've been happy. Oh, yeah. Going. Yeah, it's, I, it's I a lot of fun. And uh, seeing the, the improvement for both of us from episode one to this, I mean, there's a lot. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what else has Wheelan done for you? Give me some stickers. <laughs> My windshield's about it. You no, know, I, I've talked to a lot more people about it. Have you run into somebody randomly yet that said, hey, I listened to you on the podcast or I heard about you? Not yet, but I've so mentioned I've it to happen. people in, in dealings with uh, part sales and all that. And, you know, I'll mention it. I mentioned it to one gentleman who, before he left where I met him with the part, he looked it up several minutes later, was listening to it. By the time I got home, 
to send him the message with the link to it. Nice, nice. I was one mile from my house, if that gives you a sense of time and how quickly he did wow. this. Yeah. So I hope you're still listening. I apologize. I'm blanking out on your name right now. That wasn't the gentleman that got a hold of me last week that was looking for your information because he thought that I sold him some parts. And I was like, I don't, <laughs> I didn't sell you some XJ parts, dude. No, 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 no. That, uh, I That's remember talking else. about him. Yeah. Okay. Friends, I got um, a message that one. Guy. I've had a couple times now, um, once where somebody, I, and I think I mentioned it on a show, Somebody that I didn't think that listened to off-road stuff or anything mm-hmm. like that mentioned to me that he's listened to every single one of our podcasts. Oh, cool. And I thought that was really cool. Very cool. And then um, his name is Matt. Shout out to Matt. I'm not going to um, you know, throw a last name there because yeah. I don't know if he wants me to do that. But, um, you know, there's that. You know who I'm talking about, Matt, if you're listening. Um and uh, well, and that's not Matt from Bracket Auto Parts. Bracket Auto Parts. I mean, mm. I, that's another one. I I found yeah. out he's listening to us. I didn't know a friend of mine, Josh, was mentioned he's listening to a few episodes too, and like yeah. that. So that was cool. <laughs> yeah, and you know, and I'm getting these. Hope you're still listening. <laughs> I I had a guy get a hold of me through Thin Line Off Road probably four or five weeks ago, and mm-hmm. said, um, "I'm looking. I don't remember what he was looking for at this point. He said, I'm looking for this part." And blah, blah, blah. And I says, no, it's nothing that I've got. And uh, he says, you got any idea where? And I said, yeah, actually, you could go to here, 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 here. And uh, he said, oh, by the way, I love the podcast. And I said, really? I said, he <laughs> says, yeah, he says, I listen to you guys all the time. Nice. Said, oh, okay. Very so, cool. And this guy, I didn't even know who this person is. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I guess I should have written down the name. And I, I, <laughs> yeah, actually, it, it was probably only a week ago. I think I was in Florida, so I didn't, I didn't write gotcha. down the name. But yeah. You know, so that's kind of cool that we're reaching people that we don't even know. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, So what was it, the, the one message we got from that Sheik guy? Yeah, well, Sheik's that was from the representative of the yeah, Sheik. Yeah, that was cool. Of the off-road museum. Yeah. Uh, we did get another message from hmm. a... There's another gentleman who is in the process, and once again, I'm blanking out of names. I, I wasn't planning on talking about him on this episode. <laughs> I could have written it down. We don't have our desk in front of us. No, or it's weird. As you can see, you know, we're just sitting across from each other. Yeah. But um, and, and we may stay with us. You know, in fact, there's something. Um, YouTube watchers, do you like us having a desk between us with a couple of computers yeah. and our notes, or do you like this open platform that we're doing? Uh, you know, let us know four by four talk mm. if you'd like. Um, but back to what I was saying. Uh, you know, I had uh, you know a guy. Um, what were we? T- I'm sorry. What were we talking? I just blanked out on that. <laughs> another guy that reached out to us. Oh yeah, yeah the off road thing. Yeah. Um, there's another gentleman out there that is planning on opening an off road museum, mm. and he reached out to us through the museum page. But he said, "Hey, I heard about you on the Wheeling um, mm-hmm. podcast." He said. Um, you know, this is what we're doing, and he sent a bunch of pictures, and he's mainly military vehicles. They oh, apparently cool. uh, acquired a large military vehicle collection from somebody, Very and they've been cool. adding to it over the last couple of years. Ice. And they're in the process now of researching nonprofit status mm. and museum status and things like that. And I said, look, if you got any questions, reach Very out cool. to us. We'd love to yeah, help you out. That's awesome. Um, we don't need to be the only off-road museum in the world. Oh, no. uh, we, we're the first, yeah. but... Um, Let's grow it. <laughs> yeah, I, if if there's museums, you know, a dozen museums around the world. I mean, That'd be awesome. look at that. There's thousands of car museums around the world, mm-hmm. and they're successful many yeah. of them. So, but um, you know, I, I don't know. It's just it's been fun. I've, oh, I've yeah. enjoyed it. I, Absolutely. What else has come out of this for you? I mean, just more knowledge on things. You know, stuff like I said, I never would have looked anything up about the Land Cruisers had it not been for that. Okay, yeah. You know, learning the history and how influential some of these things are so much more than I ever realized. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, learning. I'm retaining, hope, wish I could retain a little more of this stuff, but... I, I'm in the same boat as you, buddy. I... <sighs> As you know, I've got an encyclopedic knowledge for automotive stuff. Yeah, you've got stuff. some crazy knowledge on this stuff, man. What's what's the whole phrase? You've forgotten more than I'll ever know. There's that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's, it's true. true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> um, but even myself, I'm always learning and I'm always mm-hmm. reading. But this project that I started with the museum, uh, the Museum of Off Road Adventure, of course. Yeah. Uh, where I'm doing the this day in off road history. Mm-hmm. I get caught in so many rabbit holes of information. Oh, yeah. Google and Wikipedia and whatever, yeah. right? just different places. I finally got that one out of my head. But anyways. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's insane. And it just 
you know, I end up, and that's where I end up with these this day in off-road history yeah. posts. Um, a lot of times, because off the top of my head, I've never been a date man. Mm-hmm. I, I probably can't tell you... you don't like the fruit? Just tastes funky or something? What's that? Oh. Sitting are not a date man? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I've never tried them. I don't think I'd like them. But... I've had them pickled. They're terrible. Yeah, um, horrible. But, uh, I like pickles, though. <laughs> I, uh, I I know what they're made out of. I can't do pickles. Um Cucumbers? And, yes. Oh, oh, I love those. <laughs> Anyways. Salt, pepper, garlic. I, Anyways, let's stop talking about food. We're yeah, the hungry. date thing. <laughs> I can't probably tell you a dozen important dates in my mind. I, I'm not a numbers guy like that. The only I'm ones a numbers you need guy to remember are her birthday and your anniversary. <laughs> and the wedding. That's what a calendar's for. <laughs> a, a week of? Is that close enough? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I don't know. You probably agree with me on that one, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so no other dates matter uh, okay well i well, can remember those met, first date first anniversary wedding date i i remember i <laughs> Kids remember birthdays yeah our anniversary i remember <laughs> um you know, do you say kids? I know like half the kids' birthdays. <laughs> um, that one, there's some wiggle room. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We have a lot of kids, man. Yeah. So, but no, I, so that's one. I'll do these research on these things. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember this. And then I know a lot about the subject and I'll yeah. add to it. And so I, that's been, yeah, that's been something else. But oh, no, yeah. being able to connect, you know, it, just for example, today, uh, this is in 1917, uh, mm-hmm. our recording day here, which is April. This is not 1917. No, oh, no, April what? What's today? 8th, um, 9th? The 9th. 9th. April 9th, 1917, okay. for example. I just did this day in off-road history. Or maybe it was for tomorrow. No, it was for today. It was for today. That's correct. Um, it will have already been on there after this airs. Anyways. <laughs> or before um, this airs. This is the anniversary of the first long haul over the road regular route for a trucking line oh um a goodyear tire company uh mm-hmm. you've heard of goodyear i'm sure yes they yes I, I run them they started uh a trucking route between two of their factories or two, okay. two of their production plants where they were taking supplies back and forth and that was the first long and they had sleeper cabs packard trucks I did a hmm. whole thing about it for the Museum of Off-Road Adventure. It was really nice. cool. And it's like, wow, I never even thought about that. Like, when was the first dedicated long-haul line? And nice. that was it. Goodyear Tires is yeah. the one that did it. Very cool. It's called the Wingfoot Express, by the way. Ah, so, nice. Yeah, speaking of the Wingfoot Express and, you know, people telling us that we need, like, Pegasus, we need to... Mm-hmm. You know, fly off into the sky right now. I think producer Andrew is telling us that we're running long on this one. Possibly. Are we getting close to that? <laughs> is there anything else that you wanted to talk about? No. I and you've got your sheet in front of you? Nope. Uh, I, I, I done forgot that over that way. So I'm going to just play it by ear and wing it. All right. See how it works. <laughs> well, so, Johnny Orange, you tell us where they can find more good. information. Well, if you guys got any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us on our Facebook page. Facebook.com, and you can just search for 4 by 4 Talk. Uh, go ahead, ask us any questions, post there. You got a picture of your rig, post it up. Let's see what those look like. Uh, when you have a chance, don't forget about us on Patreon. Well, it's two bucks a month. Get access to a lot of cool bonus content. Really extend the show an extra little bit there. Uh, if you are watching us on YouTube, make sure to hit like and subscribe to us so that you get, you know, as we upload all this stuff, all our new content. And I think that's most of it. So thanks for listening and have a good one, everybody. I need to adjust my balls. Ha, ha, ha.